Hi, my beautiful family. I know I look like a mess, but I'm ready. <sighs> but I'm getting ready now. And it's very early in the morning. It's almost 7, 6.44, almost 7 in the morning. And I already primed my face. I already applied my eyeshadow. And I'm here today to try a new foundation. It's actually reformulated. You've already seen it's on the title of this video. It's Huda Beauty Foundation. But I'm not only going to try this, I'm going to try to use this brush. And where is it? Mm. This highlighter. So let's see these three products today. So if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. I already primed my face and I primed the same way I primed when I tried the, she said, uh, the other foundation, the She Glam foundation. And I've used, let me just show you, this primer under my eyes. I used this primer on my T-zone. I used Kaya Cosmetics primer on the rest of my face. And I did went in with the Tarte pore filling. Now, you probably don't use as much primers as I do but it's something I've been using lately because I like how it my it holds my makeup I like how it looks and that's the reason why I do that so this shade I try to match, match myself or find a shade on Huda Beauty's website and this though I came they gave me two options this one and one that it's a slightly darker I can say this is darker this is definitely darker than I usually go for. I like darker. I, sh I like a slight darker foundation than my face, but this is too much. But I am going to work today, and I'm am going to wear it. I can fix it with some um, concealer. So I I didn't like the first version of this foundation, and I didn't like it because it looked too heavy. It's too far for me and it looked too cakey at the end of the day. So I'm excited to try this for the first time. I'm going to look how cute this brush is. I like it. I like it. I had to buy this. I don't usually like applying foundations with brushes, but I had to try this because Caitlyn Light and Raw Christy Beauty that I really like, they love this brush. So I had to. I had to. Okay, so I'm going to take a pump. It's very thick. I am going to go also in with my, what it's called, with my uh, sponge if I need to. Definitely too dark. Don't don't look at the shade. And this is supposed 220N nude. This is not nude. This is a uh, yellow, 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 yellow foundation. And could I could definitely be wrong wearing this to work today, but I am going to work long hours and I'm going to take my son to pra uh, basketball practice so this is going to be a very good test of the foundation and I know it's wrong shade but I'm going to apply the rest of the makeup and I think I can make it work. This brush feels very soft. I don't like that it's water in here I have to say because you can hear it and I don't really like that sound. This is so wrong shade. Oh, what am I doing? It goes on better than the first. It's still thick. Doesn't have any scent at all. The problem that I had last time I tried to find a shade with Huda Beauty on, in Sephora was that all of those were too yellow. And I know the girl in the store said, but this will be the closest to your skin. This is too yellow. It's still too yellow. How can this be natural? I know she said the, the shade's a little bit different. So if you had a shade before, maybe it won't work this time. Let's try and put this on the hand. But this is not neutral. This is yellow, but I am going to mix it with other foundations if I like the foundation. So I'll use it. Or if I get more tan, maybe I'll get more yellow too. 
So this brush is wonderful, love it. And it actually applied the foundation perfectly. It looked looks very nice, but oh my God, look at this shade. How am I going to fix this? Okay, I'm going in with the sponge just because I, I don't know, I just prefer going over with the sponge. It dries, this foundation dries down very fast. I can say that it looks, if you have dry skin, I don't know how much you're gonna like this foundation because it looks really matte. I like it, but it still looks heavy. This foundation does look a little bit heavier than I'm used to, or there are so many good foundations out there that I really like. So this one looks definitely heavier. So it's not the best, not right, right now, I feel like it's, maybe the, the shade could, you know, destroy everything. Sometimes even if a foundation is good, I don't like it because of the shade. So I'm going to go in with the concealer. This is the Isadora concealer and try to fix this a little bit. I'm going to go in a little bit with her uh, concealer too because this one looks to be a, it's blending very hard on top. And this one has a little bit more time, takes a little bit longer, you know, to dry because this is Sadora dried very fast. So, uh, okay. Oh my God. Uh, it's definitely, it's a heavier foundation, but it dries down so fast that it was really hard for me to blend concealer. So I'm going in with powder to set my concealer. I know even if you need to, because this foundation is drying. It's dry. And it doesn't look too dry, but it mm, feels a little bit dry. I think I kind of made it work, maybe, I don't know. I think with everything else it's going to look better. Now I look very white here. I mm. can fix that with bronzer. Uh, it's here. Okay, so, so far I'm not impressed. I mean, last I tried another foundation for not. I tried this foundation for not long ago and a couple of days ago and I really like it. So this one is, it looks very nice on camera. Uh, maybe the shade it's kind of throwing me off, but I don't know. It, it dried down matte fast. Doesn't, I don't, can't feel it on the skin. Maybe I'm not hitting it, could be the shade, but let's just finish the face and see. It's currently, almost seven in the morning. So um, we know when I apply this foundation. So I'm going to go in with the bronzer. And this bronzer. Not that I need more bronzer, but. I like that. So I'm going to turn off the camera so my bat battery doesn't die and I'll finish my makeup and I'll be back to show you how it looks. Okay guys, so. <laughs> Here I am. I have to be honest, now when I fixed the color a little bit, I think I did. It still looks uh, long from perfect. I think this foundation looks a little bit... It looks very nice, flawless when I look at myself in the mirror, far from where... But it looks very heavy on my chin and on my nose. I feel like it really looks... Yeah, it looks heavy. I know it looks uneven here. Could be the concealer that didn't really go with the one this other didn't really go with the foundation but um, I'm going to try the highlighter now okay every highlighter makes everything much better uh, I have Tati Westbrook's eyeshadow palette on my if you wonder so this is the packaging my favorite 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 highlight ever it's Amrezi and Anastasia highlighter so when they launch this one it should be the similar con oh my it's so stunning 
in the camera it looks white but in a person it looks gold white and I did swatch it yesterday in the store and it looked so mesmerizing beautiful so I'm going to try it with the fingers of course I'm go going in with fingers like this Ooh, it's gold it's gold I don't have anything like this in my collection and it go it suits my skin tone too so it's nice I like this I like the highlighter I think it's pretty I'm definitely going to continue wear it and see if I like it as much as I like Anastasia Amrezi highlighter but I was looking for that texture or I was looking for the next shade in that formula and this looks to be the it so I'm going to use a brush just to pop up pop a little bit of that highlighter here I like it I have to say that I like the highlighter okay so let's look at the phone it's 7.13 and I've been having this makeup on or foundation for seven, seven, 13 minutes. I was so close to say 17 hours, but no, that wasn't 17 hours. Uh, and I'm going to go with, on with my day, drive my kids to school and go to work and wear this full day and I'll do a checkup to tell you how it looks. So far it looks very nice from far, but when I look at myself in the mirror, it, it looks dry. And I'll see how it's going to look when my oils come through. So far it looks nice. Uh, it looks like I have foundation on so it's not Nothing you if you want that not natural look don't go for this foundation. This is definitely full coverage foundation I love full coverage foundations. I mean, I like how it looks the shade turned kind of scared me off a little bit and looked weird But right now when I fixed it a little bit slightly it looks pretty nice so I'll go on with my day and uh, I'll let you know how I think about it. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Sorry guys, I'm talking to you and looking at myself. But I'm going to go with my day and I'll let you know at the end of the day how it l looks. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do touch up as I'm not going to do anything to my face. Maybe apply some gl lip gloss. <laughs> but thank you guys and see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Hi beautiful, I'm back and now it's 16. 54 it's almost 5 p.m. and I'll be having this foundation on since 7 in the morning so it, it's around 10 hours I'll be having it for 10 hours let's take off my glasses I haven't touched up I didn't try to touch my face at all I just did this like two times uh, itching my nose a little bit but this is how it looks okay I know the shade is wrong I survived the day let's talk do I look oily yes do I look terribly oily? Mm, yes. Um, but it's not only that. As if I'm looking at myself in the monitor when I'm talking to you. Here, I don't know if you can see guys, but it's been wearing off. Let me just... It doesn't look good, so be prepared. I warn you. I don't know if you can see here how cakey and heavy that looks. Look at my nose. Can you see? how cakey and heavy that looks. This is a definitely heavy foundation. I'll see if I can apply it with the sponge instead of the brush. I love this brush. This brush is very, very nice for the foundation. I'll try to use it with other foundations. Sponge, I don't regret buying, but I do regret buying for the Huda Beauty's foundation. Now, I'll try to use it with other foundations because now I have it in my collection and I don't want to throw it away. I mean, it's not the worst foundation I've tried, but it's definitely heavy. I will try to use it with a sponge instead and maybe more moisturizing primers. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the, the long wearing because you see, I get oily. Uh, but definitely it's not waterproof. It not, it's not transfer proof. I know she said that, but... Mm -mm. If you can see that I removed the foundation here. This looks terrible. It doesn't look good. It looks heavy. It went off a lot. 
I don't know what she does, the Huda Beauty, when she makes that this foundation work perfectly for her. It looks beautiful on her skin. It looks very beautiful on many skins, but I don't know what's wrong with my skin. The last time I tried the first version of the foundation, I didn't use these primers. And this is supposed to be better. It is a little bit better than the old one. This looks less caking than the first one. Doesn't have any scent either. And this time it's not the shade that kind of, you know, throw me th throws me off because the shade doesn't do doesn't make it look cakey or make it transfer on pores. Oh my god. It looks like pores creamed and there are holes everywhere on my face. I don't know. I just don't like how it looks on my skin right now. And I have to say, this one that I tried, that's drugstore, kind of is better. If you're interested to try this foundation, I don't say don't buy it. I just say, first of all, go swatch it. Uh, I don't know if you're going to find your true shade. I'll try to mix it with other foundations. It, I, I feel like it's the coverage is amazing. I love the coverage. That's perfect. It dries down fast. Everything else, my bronzer is left. Uh, the highlighter is amazing. And if you can see, it's still there. I just love the highlighter. I love the brush, the foundation, though. No, I don't like the foundation. So I will recommend you to go and use, try to get a sample size somehow. Uh, I know it's not good to go out to stores but I don't know I can't return this to Sephora I don't know if you can do if you live without outside of Sweden but in Sweden we can't just send this and say I'm not happy with it I need to have it uh, and use it up but I'll definitely try it again I'll try it with other primers and I will try it again and again to mix it with other foundation and then I will do um, a review and talk about it at the end of this month, February. I will let you know how it worked because uh, I'm thinking this is going to be awesome. First impressions, I love first impressions, but I just want to, you know, gather my thoughts, use the products a month, couple of weeks, and let you know then how it worked for me. Right now, it doesn't work, but hopefully, I will find something that does. Now, this foundation, do I give it thumbs up? I do like this. Not really up, not really down, something in the middle. It's not the worst, but I will definitely wear it if I need to take pictures and you stand like four meters away. But go to work and be very close to kids and have this foundation. No, but I'll try it. I tried, guys. I'll try it. I'll go to take this off. I'm tired. It's been a very long day. Guys, thank you so much for watching and support me and spend your time watching my videos. That means a lot to me. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell and like this video. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye.